For the last 20 years, the Asia Art Archive has been dedicated to collecting and digitizing materials around the recent history of art from Asia and making those publicly accessible for research, for education and for scholarship. I met Claire in the late 90s and I still remember discussing this proposition, a project, a proposal and thinking this is exactly what the world needed and certainly Asia needed. Claire asked me that there will be an organization. We planted a seed, the seed sprouted, and with much care, it's taken roots. There is an awaking minute that I'm not thinking about Asia Art Archive. When I first started, we were five people, and then we became 40. In a way, I think I became an adult at Asia Art Archive. It is the foundation of a lot of my ideologies and the things I see as important in my vision in life. You know, if I reflect on the work and kind of what's kept things going, it's really been so much persistence. And, you know, I really think that that and staying true to the mission, you know, whether you're know, sharing knowledge, being a catalyst for ideas, it's, it's work that I find deeply enjoyable and and very satisfying. We've made an enormous impact on the development of art history in the region. In the past 90 years, everyone didn't have a strong knowledge to preserve some materials. The Asia Art Archive in the world has taken part in the creation and invention of Asian contemporary art history. If you say 20 years ago, through this process of sharing that AA is, is all about, there has been a major outlet for us to get to know about other cultures. Usually in schools, what we're talking about theory and histories are from the Western societies or that might create a little bit distance, but then in AA, I really get to know people that it's living. when we think about support structures, we normally think about buildings or structures or infrastructure, but actually what we don't normally talk about in depth is uh, the human relationships and the bonds between people and friendships as support structures. It is a really human way of looking at support structures because at the end of the day, we all need each other and that's really what gets us through I don't know, life and everything. For me, it's never just a library. An AA always wants to bring people together, and I've been lucky enough to have benefited from that. The crux of what is important about contemporary art, you insist that you have to think differently and that there is more beyond immediate reality. We need um, material objects as prompts, we need texts as prompts, uh, but it also takes you know, you all who are at AA and also all of us to spark each other off in terms of ideas sharing. As museums, we are very committed to making sure that the histories that we are developing and establishing as knowledgeable and with real authority is um, underscored by the work of institutions like the Asia Art Archive. The last 20 years really would not have been possible without the multiple layers of support from our community. The 20th anniversary is really a very important time to thank all of those that have been involved. Our team, our board, our patrons, 
the educators we work with, the wider community. And of course, the artists whose care for this world and artwork go hand in hand. Generosity is our motto. It is also our culture. It certainly continues to be as purposeful and prescient as it was in the first year in the 10th year and in the 20th year and into the future. There's no question that it's necessary work. It's bedrock work, foundational work that we all use and need and think about and I hope contribute to as well.